Moving into our last NFL topic of the week for the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast. We got our week six extra juicy dogs. Yeah. (laughs) This is where we give you a quarterback, running back, receiver, and tight end who you can feel comfortable starting in your fantasy lineups. Maybe it's a guy later down in the rankings, a sleeper who who you can put in for a good matchup. Maybe it's a guy, a smash hit. Going to score multiple touchdowns. Speaking of the touchdowns, this is where we do our my buddy, Mr. Tutty Guarantees. Heck yeah. And Max, we were talking about it last week, how we needed to total those up through the first five weeks. Yes. Okay, we got the numbers. We got the Ooh-wee. stats and in, we got the stats and info team on it. They, it. They, they punched out the numbers. And Max, I think you'd be happy to hear that you're leading the group right now. Oh my. 60%. You got three out of five. Three out of five, pretty, okay. pretty solid. I did, I did miss three weeks, everybody. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll take the percentage point right now. But yeah, I, I missed, I missed a few weeks. Sixty percent is solid, but right behind you is our guy Queef Sam, who's been uh, entering his Teddy guarantees. He's, he's sitting at fifty-seven percent, four out of seven. Ooh. Okay, he's right behind okay. you. Okay, right behind All right. you. All right. And then uh, we got Dan. Okay, we had our buddy Philly Dan on here. And he made one guarantee. It was Mark Andrews, and he did not catch a touchdown in week three. So Dan's sitting at 0%, 0 for 1. And then lastly, we got me. And I I was talking about it last week, how I've been getting greedy. I've been greedy. I've been striking out. I've already guaranteed eight touchdowns on the season. Only gotten two. 25%. (laughs) 25 percent i'm greedy over here max it's hard to predict it really is everybody I, it is. like when you look at fantasy numbers you're like oh yeah these guys they, they should be scoring every week it's like well, it's, a touchdown is really freaking hard <laughs> so yeah so heck yeah i'm gonna lead us off here though max yeah let's see it with my extra juicy dog at the quarterback position we were just talking about him in the juiciest matchup of the week mm-hmm. i got justin herbert oh yeah coming off a bye He's QB1 on a points per game basis. QB1. That 51 point over under, like I said, is the highest on the week versus the freaking Cowboys on Monday Night Football. And you think, oh, Cowboys got a good defense. Yeah, they do. They do have a good defense. But we just saw Brock Purdy throw for four touchdowns last week and was QB6 on the week. Now we know Herbert, he's got that fractured middle finger on his non throwing hand. His non throwing hand. I don't think that's really going to affect him. Don't worry about that. He had the bye to rest up a little bit. They're at home. They're actually a slight underdog in this game. So you think they might be having to come from behind and throw? I got Justin Herbert as my extra juicy dog at the quarterback position for week six. Great pick. Great pick. We already we already discussed this. Big games coming from Justin Herbert, Keaton Allen, and Austin Eckler. Uh, moving on to my extra juicy dog at the quarterback position. Okay. I'm going with Trevor Lawrence. Ooh. Okay. I think it's a big matchup. Okay. Against the Colts coming up and Trevor Lawrence has been nothing but mediocre this, uh, this year. He's ranked 16th in our league. And as far as quarterbacks go, like you would be thinking that what the heck, this guy should be a top 10 quarterback. Give it some time. He'll get there. The problem with Trevor Lawrence lately is dude, this guy, I don't know if he has too much popcorn uh, out on the sidelines, but this guy fumbles the ball a lot. I, I've, I've seen he's fumbled the ball a lot last year. He fumbled the ball three times last week, three times in London. Okay. But uh, I think this is a big matchup that, that seems like the Jaguars are starting to heat up a little bit. I think this is, this is going to be his best game of the season against the Colts to sweep them and take a 4-2 victory or 4-2 four, 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 record into next week. Only 5 passing touchdowns through 5 games for Trevor Lawrence. That's uh yeah. that's pretty low, but I agree with you also that they're going to beat the Colts. The Colts suck and uh Jags are going to take over the lead of that division. Also, the Colts are ranked 23rd against the pass, so Trevor Lawrence is a good is a good start this week. Max, we're going to stay right in that game for my extra juicy dog at the running back position. Somebody that's got getting a lot of volume right now. Travis Etienne, boys. Yeah. Travis yeah. Etienne. He's running back four on the year in full PPR leagues. Last week in London, he had 26 carries for 136 yards and two touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Four catches for 48 yards through the air. 
the Jags are starting to rely rely more on Travis Etienne. He's had 20 and 26 carries the last two weeks. Those are both season highs. Those 26 carries last week in London, those are the second most that he's had in his career. They're home favorites against these Colts. 45 and a half point over under isn't bad. The Colts are 20th against running backs. Max, I got our first week six. My buddy, Mr. Tutty Garrett. Oh. Right here. Travis <laughs> Etienne is going to score at least one against the Colts. The Colts are depleted. They're sorry. They're going to lose this game. Travis Etienne with a 20 burger and at least Ooh. one touchdown. I love it. Great pick. Great, my buddy, Mr. Tutty. Travis Etienne's having a hell of a season. He is the star right now of the Jaguars. Loving it. Loving that pick. For me, going into the running back at the my for uh my butt, for the extra juicy dog. Okay, hey, we already brought, oh. brought it up. Uh, Miami. Wait, wait, how do you pronounce his name? Ac- wait, how do you pronounce his name? I got a guy. A Chan. Sorry, sorry. A Chan. He's out. Okay, he's going to be out for four weeks. Okay, at now least. they're going to they might be doing a committee here, but I'm telling you right now, Raheem Mostert better be in your lineups. Do you know why? Because he's ranked third right now at running back at the running back position, he should already be in your yeah. your uh, in your yeah. flex. This guy, let me just already has seven touchdowns, seven rushing touchdowns and one receiving touchdown. He has eight touchdowns already. Okay, Raheem Mostert from Purdue, go Boilers, Boiler up, baby. Uh, I I am also guaranteeing a my buddy, Mister Tutty. He is Ooh. getting in the end zone this weekend. The, the Miami Dolphins, they love to run the ball. And I I don't think I, – I think every single game this season – correct me if I'm wrong, everybody, but I believe every single game this season there has been at least one rushing touchdown by the running backs. At least oh, one. That... Okay? Raheem Mostert is going in the end zone this week. Also, Carolina, they're ranked 31st against the run. Start Raheem Mostert, everybody. Raheem Mostert tied with Christian McCaffrey for seven – rushing touchdowns that's the league lead and then devon a chain had five rushing touchdowns before he got hurt so yeah yeah a lot of juice in miami a lot of juice i like the my buddy mr tutty guarantee there max heck yeah moving in to our extra juicy dog at the wide receiver position max cooper cup looked mm. really good last week he looked fresh he looked healthy that made a did. season. He made a season debut last week. He was wide receiver twelve in full PPR leagues. He caught eight balls. Oh, geez, I gotta, I gotta miss, uh, I gotta miss number here. I gotta look this up. I don't know what uh, my stats are off. He caught eight balls last week for 118 yards on 12 targets. He's looking good. Uh, Puka was actually the wide receiver eleven last week so they were the wide receiver 11 and 12 on the week the rams are seven point home favorites over the one win cardinals cardinals are 26th against wide receivers 48 and a half point over under is tied for second highest on the week max he didn't score last week puka did this week that flips cooper cup gonna get a my buddy mr tutty oh, first my. one of the season oh, my. matthew stafford's gonna open it up i got him on my bench right now but I like Matthew Stafford this week also. I like it. I love that Cooper Cup's back. And yeah, man, over 100 yards already right off the bat. Matthew Stafford loves the guy. Great pick. Great pick. For my my buddy, uh, for my extra juicy doll for the wide receiver. Okay, a little name that, that I don't think we've been talking about enough this season, but we should be. We should be talking about this guy. I got Christian Kirk oh. of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Is it fair to say that this guy is... The number one option with Trevor Lawrence, it, it, did he surpass Calvin Ridley? You can argue it. You can argue it. But let me let me talk about uh, these targets. Okay, going going from week two, because week one uh, week one he only had three targets. Okay, but after that he had 14, 6, 12, 8 targets. He had eleven catches with that fourteen target game. He had f- uh, the next week he had four catches with a touchdown. Eight catches, 84 yards, and then six catches for 78. Okay, this guy's getting looked at a lot. Okay, and uh, right now, the Colts uh, the Colts defense, they're, they're ranked 24th, 24th against wide receivers. He's going to have a big game. Expect this guy to get at least 10 targets. I'm expecting seven catches, and 
I'm guaranteeing you, my buddy, Mr. Tutty. Oh. Trevor Lawrence has got to he's got to start heating up here. Wow. Give it, give a touchdown, uh, give a touchdown pass to your number one that you like to throw to since last season. Last season, I believe Christian Kirk had nine touchdowns. Come on, let's get those numbers up for him as well. My buddy, Mr. Tutty, Christian Kirk, he better be in your lineups, everybody. He's going to have a big game. Christian Kirk, people were writing him off after that week one down game. Yep. Calvin Ridley had a big game, but now Calvin Ridley had a big game in week five, 122 yards, the most on the season for him. I think they can both both be fantasy relevant. Um, and I see we're, we're really ganging up on the Colts in this section. You <laughs> you with Trevor Lawrence and Christian Kirk and me with Travis Etienne, we're really uh, expecting big things from the Jags this week, huh? We are. We are. <laughs> Lastly here, the extra juicy dog at the tight end position for week six for me. It's going to be Dallas Goddard, Max. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had a great week last week. He's tight end eight on the season. Last week in L.A. against the Rams, he set season highs with eight receptions for 117 yards on nine targets and caught his first touchdown on the year. It seemed like he was a huge part of the game plan. The first drive, they were feeding him right off the start. The Eagles are seven-point favorites over the Jets, who are dead last against tight ends. The Jets are dead last against tight ends, 32nd in the league. They're also, the Jets, second best against wide receivers. They're shutting down wide receivers. Seems like they're funneling things to the tight end position, leaving that middle open. And because that middle is going to be open, because Dallas Goddard is part of the game playing more, Call me greedy, Max. First time, even after these percentages that I had to add up, first time I got a triple. My buddy, oh, gar- my, my buddy, Mister <laughs> Tutty, guarantee you on here. Dallas Goddard down the middle, gonna be wide open. It might, it might even be a, a five lar- five yard little flipper. Dallas Goddard gonna catch one in the end zone against the Jets this week. Someone is getting greedy. Woo! Three Call me greedy. D. It's that season. It's greedy season. As you go two and eleven, as you go, <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Mr. Tutty this week. I would like to see it, uh, but I, and it, that is a good call though. Dallas Goddard had a big game last week, and dead I expect last. him to start. Expect Jet, yeah. yeah. Jets are dead last against tight ends. I'm, I'm sniffing something. I smell no it. doubt, no doubt. It's a, it's a it's a big uh, big call. I'm I'm sticking in Jacksonville for the tight end and, uh, for my oh, extra juicy dog. Three I Jags. Three Jags. Okay. I originally just just so I can back myself up real quick. I originally picked Travis Kelsey, and then I realized it doesn't matter who Travis Kelsey is facing. You're starting him, so we don't need to talk about Travis Kelsey anymore. Okay. It, it, it doesn't matter if the the number one defense against tight ends that automatically start him. You know that, that doesn't. You're starting Travis Kelsey. Start him. All right. So I don't want to talk about Travis Kelsey. I'm, I'm done with that. I got Evan Ingram this week. Okay. They're going up against the Colts ranked 16th. Apparently the Colts, they are not doing so well against the pass. Okay. Not doing well uh, with wide receivers. Uh, Ingram is right in the minute mix. Ingram in our league is also ranked seventh at tight end. It's a guy that better be, you better be starting. You better be starting. He's going to have a good game this week. I'm not guaranteeing a touchdown, but I'm guaranteeing at least probably five catches, five catches, 60, 65 to 70 yards. That's something you want at the tight end position. Max, that's a good call there. Give me your final score prediction on that Colts-Jags game since you have three Jaguars in this extra juicy dog segment. I'm going 34 to 20, two touchdowns by the Jags. ETN and Kirk going to score those? Oh yeah, I could I could definitely see both of them for sure. Uh, Kirk Kirk is definitely getting in the end zone. Everybody, 